Hello and welcome back. In this video, I want to make these shelves over here. I'm tired of all this dust getting into my stuff and these do a great job at keeping the bulk of it out. Let's do it. I'm going to start by cutting down these two by fours to length here. I just measured the length of my shelf and I transferred that over to make the top and bottom plates. So I'm cutting them here at the cross cut sled on the table saw. Repeat that with both pieces. And those establish the lengths of my final shelf here. Now I'm running them through the table saw with about an eighth or so reveal, just cutting these grooves in. So I cut that groove on one side, flip the piece 180, and then cut the other groove. And these are the grooves that the hardboard will slide in, which allows the shelf to be opened and closed and to keep the dust out. So I repeat that on both pieces. Now I move the fence slightly just to make that groove a little wider. And I make one cut in one direction, flip it and cut that other groove. So I'm left with two grooves in each board, each the same width. That allows just enough for a piece of hardboard to fit in. And this is a scrap I had laying around just as a test fit. So you can see how that slides in there. Now this is the actual hardboard I'm going to use. So I'm measuring my pieces here to fit. And I'm making two measurements on there. I'm making one for the length of my piece and the second one where I'm going to clamp that other two by four that I can rest my saw against to get a straight cut. So I mark my actual cut line here with this square. Now lining up that two by four on that second line, I know that my saw, my circular saw is an inch and a half offset from the blade. So I make that line an inch and a half away from the line I actually want to cut. Then resting that saw against that line, I get a perfectly straight cut where I want it to be. And I repeat that for three panels. Now I'm installing this piece that I ripped off camera, just that groove piece that I created earlier. I start by putting in one corner and then leveling the piece. I'm driving in a second screw there in the middle. Now the top piece I needed to cut this notch out is there's a, a rafter piece for the loft above my workstation. So I'm cutting that out here. This little notch that'll fit that rafter piece, as you'll see here. So I pop that into place and put some hardboard in there just as a filler. Instead of having intricate measurements, you can use the actual pieces to determine the height and to make sure that you can slide well. So I pop one in on each side and double check my fit just by sliding it and then I'm able to throw a screw in on each side. And then come back in and test to make sure everything works. Now I'm measuring for some holes that I'm gonna drill in each of the panels here. I'm making them in the very center. These are four foot sections, so I drill them at exactly two feet. And I put one on each side, as I did on my little shelf that I showed in the beginning. And these are, these are about inch and an eighth holes, and I'm using a Forstner bit to do that. It just makes it easier to slide the panels. I repeat that on one, two, and three. Now I'm cutting the left side here, which is part of the shelf that's exposed. I start out by doing a little notch cut here, and then measuring my lengths. And then strike that line. It's not exactly square. So I just cut this one by eye and following that line. And then cut out that notch that I showed in the beginning, which fits around a two by four in the recess. You can see how that piece gets installed there. Pretty tight friction fit, which is what I wanted and I secure with a few screws. 
Now I'm eliminating the top gap here underneath the loft by using a half inch sheet of plywood. And I'll just secure that with a few screws. By butting up tight to that loft on top, I'm able to eliminate that large gap, which would let dust in, which is the ultimate goal of this project to avoid. And I secure it there with a few screws and that finishes off the cabinet here. I'm very happy with how this project turned out. I thank you all for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what you'd like to see next. Thank you.